yeah, so I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I, I did a thing here. I built that uh, Game Boy Advance for my coworker a couple weeks ago. I ended up liking it so much that I wanted it for myself. Um, there were several things about it I liked better than mine. The shell in mine is actually white plastic, as you can see there. And it's been coated with like a green rubberized um, material of some kind. And I don't really care for the way that rubberized shell feels. Some people might like it, but it just feels like it's, it's going to rub off, right? Like if you play this thing enough. So I've complained about the D-pad on this one several times. Um, I had the black um, buttons in it. And um, I think it was a stock membrane, to be honest. So I don't know exactly why, but the D-pad on this was really stiff. Again, I'd complained about that several times. Um, but you really had to put your thumb and put some pressure on this D-pad. When I did that one for my coworker, um, you know, the D-pad is so loose on this, uh, just very minimal force is required. You don't gotta jam your thumb down. Again, this funny playing uh, shell, funny playing buttons, funny playing membranes, um, just really comes together into an overall package where just the fit and the feel, I just prefer. And, um, yeah, so not shortly after, um, doing his up, <laughs> I ordered a second, um, just to shell the buttons and the membranes, um, to swap mine over, um, to it. And uh, again, I do like the way it looks, you know, it didn't cost a lot. The, the screen's the most expensive part, right? So, you know, the shell and the buttons and the membranes, like... Uh, 25 bucks or something <laughs> um, to um, get it the way I like it and I'm gonna play it more uh, because this one was just not comfortable comfortable to play also when I ordered um, the Game Boy Advance for my co-worker I got that um, the retro modding um, sleeve I actually ordered a green one, but they sent an all black one. So there was a small mistake on that order, but it wasn't enough to really make a big deal about it. <laughs> um, they have these in different colors. There's like hot pink and yellow and blue and green. I did order a green one, but it ended up being all black um, for my coworkers when I did his. But that said, the quality of this and the fitment of this, I did say... Uh, was great and it is nice to have something to throw uh, the Game Boy Advance uh, into when you're not using it and you know that you know you're just not gonna get dust on it it's not gonna scratch you're not gonna scratch the screen um, these screens are glass but they're not like super high quality tempered glass uh, especially this one um, this one I believe was a higher quality but even it has I don't know if you're gonna catch that but in just the right light there's like a small little chip in the glass. You know, just because it's glass doesn't mean that it's not going to get scratched um, compared to the plastic. You know, it's harder to scratch, um, but it can still scratch and it can chip. But I also thought I would get the Game Boy Color one. As I mentioned when I was ordering his, I checked to see if they had a Game Boy Color one. And that it wasn't just the same thing. Because, I mean, obviously a Game Boy Color would probably fit in here. Um, and they could just be sneaky about it and act like they're different. But no, they are actually different uh, shapes, different sizes. You can see this kind of has the, the edges are rounder um, to fit the Game Boy Advance. And it's, again, it's an absolute, like, perfect fit. Um, so I ordered one for uh, the Game Boy Color. And... Um, Again, it's a, it's a perfect fit, and um, it's not quite as rounded on the corners, as you can see. And then also, because this is like a rubberized finish, uh, it's difficult to actually slip in and out of this sleeve. <laughs> Look, I know that's a stupid complaint, but because it's rubberized, it literally kind of like sticks to, the, to this, what is this, polyurethane or whatever, this foam 
stuff is made out of. So just still stupid side note. <laughs> if you have one of these style shells, I would almost say don't bother with this. Um, but again, I prefer this shell and the, uh, the, the sleeve for the, uh, the sleeve for the Game Boy Advance one I showed when I did my coworkers. So I had mentioned it fits like a glove, but, um, yeah, I just picked up the Game Boy Color one for my Game Boy Color and, uh, same thing fits like a glove. They did a really good job, uh, with these, uh, sleeves. So, um, again, this is retro modding. Um, oh yeah, I did actually have an issue with this order. So this is the third um, order I've made from retro modding instead of um, handheld legend. Handheld legend ships out of the states, so for me it ends up costing more for shipping and taking longer. So I've mentioned lately I've been ordering from retro modding because they ship out of Quebec. Um, so for me it ends up being cheaper for shipping, cheaper and quicker uh, for shipping. Um, so if retro modding has it, I'll order it from retro modding. If they don't, then I'll check uh, handheld legend. But yeah, this is the third time I had ordered anything from retro modding. And I ordered the, um, the shell, the buttons, the membranes, and these two sleeves for myself. Um, and only the two sleeves, oh, and the screen cover. Uh, only the two sleeves in the screen cover showed up in the box. Um, the shell, the buttons, and the membranes weren't in the box. But anyway, so I emailed them. I said, look, half the, literally half the shipment was missing. Uh, I didn't get the shell, the buttons, or the membranes. And they were like, sorry, we're, sh we're shipping it out right away. And again, it was a couple, couple more days, but I got a second um, package. Um, yeah, they were, they were quick to handle it. They didn't ask any questions. They didn't. They just said, sorry, we're going to ship that right away. And so I just thought I would um, mention that because um, everybody makes mistakes. How you handle those mistakes is what matters. And as a company, Retro Modding, they did good. Um, they apologized. They made it right. They sent that out right away. So it was a, a slight inconvenience as I was unpacking it and getting I thought, all right, I'm going to, you know, Getting ready to do this, I've got free time. You open up the box and, and half the stuff's missing. But again, they they uh, they handled it properly. So that's a thumbs up in my book. Oh yeah, and there was there was kind of one more like last benefit to swapping the shell. And it's it's not I didn't know it was gonna be a benefit when I ordered the shell and planned on doing this, but it just happened to work out. The old shell, I guess it required this like um, screen um, bracket to hold the screen in place. The new shell doesn't have that. The new shell is kind of cut so the screen just fits perfectly in, into it. Whereas the old shell, the cutout was kind of like over cut and then you needed the bracket to hold the screen in the proper position. Again, the new shell doesn't need that. It, the, the screen literally just sits in the proper position right in the shell. Um, and um, one issue I have always had with my um, GBA with the, uh, with the IPS screen was on a black screen, like if it was a mostly a black screen with maybe just some text on it, which isn't very often, but in a Game Boy Advance game where it's mostly a black screen, but in those instances where it was mostly a black screen, there was a spot in the top, a little bit right of center at the top of the screen where there was like a little bit of light bleed. Um, and I always just assumed that was like um, a bad LCD because the LCDs aren't always perfect. My LG TV, for example, has a spot that looks just like that um, in the bottom left corner. And it, it was like that from the day I got it. But after I got the everything switched over, I realized that was gone. And I now know it's because of that bracket. That bracket has a spot where it holds the screen in place. And then it also kind of has a spot to hold the ribbon uh, in place. And it's a little bit thicker there. And that just so happens to be around the top kind of center, right of center um, of the screen, behind the screen. 
where that is a little bit thicker. And then I realized that was actually putting a little bit of pressure on the back of the LCD screen right in that spot. So again, completely, I um, didn't expect this, um, but it's just another bonus. Um, it's in, and it's another thing I like about this shell better. You don't require this extra bracket to hold the screen in place. The screen will hold itself in place when it's in this shell. So I guess that's it. Um, again, if this was really like, if this was only for looks, I probably wouldn't have done this, but it wasn't just for the looks. I do like the way this shell feels better. I think it fits a little bit better. Um, the D-pad, definitely I wanted to change the D-pad or the membrane or both. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, the, the LCD thing was a bonus. As always with these Game Boy Advances, I've mentioned it's a bit of a learning curve and it's not necessarily technical. It's um, like obviously there might be a bit of a technical learning curve, but it's just knowing and figuring out what parts you like the best, what parts work together the best, um, because there's certain combinations of screens and shells and uh, front uh, gasket, um, the, you know, I've mentioned the, the double-sided tape gasket thing that you can use to tape the screen in and whether your screen or shell combination has, you know, that back, um, screen mounting bracket, um, or you're going to use the sponge. There's just all, all these different combinations of things, different membranes, different quality, of buttons and d-pads and some d-pads might work better with some membranes right so if you buy a d-pad in a membrane and you think that the uh you know you don't like the way the d-pad feels it might be a combination so again that's where the learning curve comes in is just figuring out what combination of parts you like the best or end up working the best uh, again, I've been playing this more lately. I've been playing uh, the Minish Cap um, and really getting into that. It's a fun game, a very fun game. And um, yeah, playing it on my own Zelda themed GBA. And whether it's Zelda themed or not, I mean, I think the green and yellow looks great together. Um, so it can just be a green and yellow Game Boy Advance. It doesn't have to be Zelda themed. But you know what, I'm playing Zelda on it right now. And uh, yeah, super fun game. So anyways, I guess that's it. See you guys later.